Schoolboys Rugby, brought to you by the Sunday Tribune. Hello and welcome to Tom Clifford Park here in Limerick. We're here to see the first of the semi-finals in the uh, Avonmore Munster School Senior Cup competition. And a promising and exciting afternoon it uh, looks like being. The match, of course, is between Castle Troy of Limerick and PBC of Cork. And there's more, plenty more rugby coming up for you here on Satanta. On Monday, you can see delayed coverage of Sunday's second Munster Senior Cup semi-final. That's the match between Glenstall and CBC, and it's here on Satanta Ireland. And tomorrow we have live Magners League as a rejuvenated Ulster side play Clenethley, and the kickoff there is at 7.30 on Satanta Ireland. While over on Satanta Sports 1, you can catch the clash between Connacht and Leinster, as Leinster seek to consolidate their position at the top of the league. And on Saturday, our coverage of the Magnus League continues as Munster travel to Cardiff to take on the Blues. Kickoff there is at 5.30, and that's on Satanta Sports 1. And subscription details are on your screen below. But here at Tom Clifford Park, the attention is on the upcoming semi-final between Castle Troy and PBC Cork. And earlier on, we had a chat with the two head coaches. Well, Martin, uh, the victory over Rockwell certainly has given you tremendous hope going into the semi-final. Absolutely, it gave us uh, an awful lot of confidence. But um, our preparations have gone well, and our players have worked very, very hard since the start of the season. We're very proud of them, so, um, you know, confidence is high. And you don't have any injury problems? We had a slight injury, uh, slight injury in our last training session, which affected our bench slightly, but other than that, we're, we're ready to go. Well, for a new school, uh, you don't really have a chance of building up a very large panel. Well, we're open now eight years, so I suppose we are, you know, sometimes we may struggle number-wise, but we've 34 in our panel, and I'm glad to say they all stayed involved, and, you know, we're, we're very happy with that. Ready to give it a good go? Ready to give it a great go today. OK, thanks. Thanks a million, Martin. Don, uh, nothing, nothing new for PBC? Yeah, I've played a lot of experience there. You know, since last year, we've 11 of the, the 22 from last year playing um, are, in, are involved in the side. So, you know, from an experience point of view, we, we, certainly that's something we'll benefit from, hopefully. Um, Prez of a long and proud tradition, as you know. Um, and, we're, you know, we're hoping to progress after today, hopefully, after a good game. You've had one or two changes, uh, late changes, uh, in the centre, for example. Yeah, we had a number of issues there coming in, coming into last weekend, particularly, and uh, they were resolved. And unfortunately, then we had uh, a late cry for Connor, uh, Connor Fitzgerald last night. But uh, Connor Desmond's coming in. He's a monster into pro player, and we're more than confident of his ability. And uh, our thanks to the coaches as the atmosphere here in. Tom Clifford Park builds up and as usual uh, before these games we have an opportunity to meet representatives from each of the schools. So from uh, PBC in Cork we have Gavin Fitzgerald. Uh, Gavin you must be uh, pretty confident this afternoon. Uh, I wouldn't say we're confident but um, we know it's going to be a tough match and we feel we've prepared well for it. Uh, Who are the guys we should be looking for? Um, I feel we've a very strong back row for today. Um, Peter Romani, Brian Haran, uh, Colin Murphy. They do tremendous work on the pitch and uh, they're the ones to look out for. You had a very good win over St Munchens in the quarterfinals. Yeah, we did, yeah, it was great. But uh, we feel we can do better than that, though. We kind of let it slip during the second half, but hopefully we'll do better today. Your fingers crossed. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a million, Gavin. And now we turn to Michael O'Dwyer. Michael, uh, we see you. Disappointment for you today? Yeah, um, I kind of freak, freak kind of accident yesterday in training. I tore my ligaments in my ankle, so I'm out for at least three weeks. So, staying there today for me. It's a big opportunity for you, gone, but uh, you'll be happy nonetheless that uh, there's a good substitute there for you. Yeah, as long as we get the result today, that's the main thing for the school, and I have two more years, so it's not the worst for me. So. And what about the uh, fellows we should be looking for today? Um, in the back line, probably Cormac Joyce and Dermot McCarthy are our main threats, and up front, Munster representative Dar Frawley and Owen Sweeney carry the ball well, and Captain Dooley will lead, Paul Dooley will lead from the front. OK, well, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you again. And we're now going to have a check on the two teams. 
and the Castle Troy team there looking to players like number 12 Dermot McCarthy in the back line and in the second row Dara Frawley to inspire them to great things in this semi-final Frawley incidentally for a second row forward also does the kicking so he's a very talented all-rounder in the Castle Troy side PBC, of course, nothing strange for them to reach the semi-final, producing some extraordinarily good players over the years, and this year, no exception. They've had to make a change. Number 12 becomes uh, Connor Desmond because Connor Fitzgerald uh, was injured and uh, couldn't take his place. And the side captained by Peter O'Mahony, a very promising number eight, and Brian O'Hara, number seven there, a member of the Irish school side. And our referee for this semi-final of the Avonmore Munster School Senior Cup is Olin Trevor. The atmosphere building up to a tremendous climax as the Munster School semi-final between PPC and Castle Troy gets underway here at Tom Clifford Park. The coverage brought to you by Satanta Sport in association with the Sunday Tribune. Oh, to go, move. And move. Castle Troy in the now. distinctive On blue you. top, six, 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 blue shorts, six, six, and PVC in the traditional black and white. And it's oh, PBC two, hooker two, Peter two hands away. with the throw. Very nicely won O'Driscoll to O'Flynn. And O'Flynn sends the long pass out. They have extra men here. But the pass coming to Simon Zebo was just behind them. Very interesting and good start by two, don't be buying, don't the don't PBC. Yeah, don't be buying. Coach! Touch! Now feeding oh, stone for Castle oh, Troy. Peter Murray. You two of your OG up, up. The yeah, yeah, too low. Just needing to have Come a few square. words. That's the height. That's the, the height. Rows. Crouch. Touch. Pause again. Owen Sweeney at the back there for Stay ball. Castle Troy. Stop. Murray to burn the fly kick. Nicely snapped up and saved by Dermot McCarthy. But he's inside his own Release 22. Release those away! And Castle Troy need to clear it. And Donald sorry, Byrne sorry. did well. That's a huge sorry. kick. Thanks, John. Don't touch him. Don't go near him. Good crowd representing both schools. We saw full, there full the line out. PVC full. supporters. And there at the back of the line on the left is the PVC number six, Connell Murphy. And very nicely taken. O'Flynn moves it wide. Pass not quite going to hand. The referee giving Castle Troy the put in. Number 11 there for Castle Troy, Colum Dillon. Scored a try in their quarter-final win over Rockwell. <laughs> Castle Troy with the scrum and Murray feeds. Use it, use it! Tall figure of Byrne waiting it out half, but ball robbed. Not done though. But Castle Troy under a little bit of pressure in those scrums. Coach, touch, pause and game. Get your bind up properly. Peter Murray to put Let's go. in. Let's go. And referee just uh, making sure the front rows are ready. All right, get organised and get steady. No pre push. Crouch, touch, pause and game. Murray's feed. Stay bow. Taken away by the number eight, Owen Sweeney. Back around seven, thank you. The PBC had uh, oh, wait, anticipated no. Go away, leave it, leave it. and oh. have managed the turnover. Nicely fed on, that's a beautiful break. 
Oh, tremendous run indeed by Connor Desmond. Again, moved wide and Hands away now. BBC looking dangerous. As the ball goes left. Release! Good defending by Castle Troy. Back foot. Castle Troy defence standing firm. Tom McAfee goes left, looks for support outside. Looked like a high tackle, but the referee in a good position gives advantage to Prez. Deep inside the Castle Troy 22. No advantage coming to Prez, the movement Number breaking six. down, Inside. so they get a penalty. Well, the interested spectator we're looking at is Declan Kidney, the famous monster coach, looking over his son, Kevin Kidney, playing for PBC. And we saw the high tackle there, for which the penalty has been awarded. And as the, the ball came out, the referee saw no advantage to PBC. And they have the penalty. So we see one of the players receiving attention, but uh, now a silence for the kicker to put Prez in front. Picked it well. And the flags go up and Prez lead. Three points to nil. Okay. So that's just the start that uh, Prez required. Donald Byrne restarting good restart well controlled oh, by pull out guys Prez. pull out pull out pull out back foot <laughs> well just for a moment there it looked as if uh, Connor Desmond was going to have the opportunity of almost running the length of the pitch Stay down on that score, okay? Crouch, touch, again. Flynn, the half for Prez, converting the penalty. Here we are, there's your mark now, hold. Three points to nil. Hold, crouch, touch, pause again. Murray taking it, looking outside, finds fullback Joyce. Power into the 22, they're going up here, and this is a good run by Castle Troy. First time inside the opposition, 22. Ball goes forward. It'll be a scrum to Prez. It was a great break. In fact, it was Dermot McCarthy who uh, made the break for Castle Troy. Ball going forward in the mall and Hassel Troy concede the scrum. Pause again. Prez just outside their own five metre line. But that's a good scrum. Gives Driscoll the chance to away, come away. Troy, away. Seven away. And penalty away. against Castle Troy. Dara Bonfield just the one who's penalised. Prez to throw. 
Peter Kelleher to throw. Eight, three, eight. Again, very well taken, good clean catch. Flynn passes that ball, not forward. Idea was good. Very well won at the line edge. The dummy no, 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 at the pass is no really no too hard and too heavy for the winger coming in. No Johnny McCarthy playing on the left wing wearing number 14. Right. Coach, touch, pause, engage. Use it. Peter Murray takes it from his number seven, Sweeney. Stop 13! It's a Good. big kick by the fly half, Donald Byrne. 22 Thanks, drop out, four press. Ready Go to cross. take the quick one, but um, Castle Troy were well aware of it. Go cross. Restart nicely taken Are by Cormac Joyce Power. Come back, come back. Okay. His opposite Leave number. It. Come back, Black, come back. Doesn't quite get hold of it. Come back. Okay. But uh, Scum Half Leave is it. waiting for it. Black, come. Gets his angle right. And Simon Seabolt sets off. Hands away, Troy. That's good. Now Driscoll to O'Flynn, and it's blocked down very well by Byrne. Out it comes on the other hand to. Kevin Ki Kidney and referee waiting for advantage. And a yellow card being shown. And Cormac O'Flynn has to spend 10 minutes on the sideline and a penalty opportunity here. We have the opportunity as. Uh, the ball came back here. The tackle there on the player without possession. Dermot McCarthy going through on it. But the referee, Cormac O'Flynn, is the one who paid the penalty for the indiscreet tackle. But it's an opportunity for Dara Frawley to level the scores. Straight in front of the posts. Fine kick. Flags go up. Frawley has equalised. Captain! Captain! Chris! Tell him to be very careful. Be very careful. You heard the referee there talking to Happy the Prez. Captain, just to be careful. So the restart taken by Connor Desmond. Leave it now, Press. Hands away, Press. Hands away. Back foot, guys. Hold back foot. Castle Troy. After a rather shaky start, settling down well. Their fly half, Donald Byrne, brings play to the 10 metre line. Just a little half, faster. The ball's back the rocks. The ball's Donald Byrne play. there plays a lot of uh, minor football for Limerick. Out you come. Kelleher then throwing for Prez. Prez have reshuffled their back line, of course, with their fly half now missing. That was a good, clean catch again at the line out. Prez line out has been very, very impressive. Back around. They're down to seven forwards. Back foot. Don't knock it. Back around five. Back around five. Back row six. This is a good controlled mall up towards the Castle Troy 22. Get out, seven! Get out! Hands, hands away. David O'Driscoll waits. 
Feeds it on to Desmond. Into the 22 he goes. This is a great opportunity. Couldn't link up outside. Advantage. Ball knocked forward. Advantage, advantage back, to back. Castle Troy. Back. Back. And cleared from almost his own dead ball line by Donald Byrne. Well, what a nice yeah, neat break this one. was by Desmond into the 22. Had an opportunity to link up there, but the support had overrun him. One out, guys, one out. Well, if I've been calling him uh, Connor Desmond, I've been misreading the number. Nice break out, by Kevin Kidney. Let's go. And he's moved into fly half. Presbury down to the 10 men, but that was a superb run by Kidney. Five, five, five. And even though the pack have sacrificed Brian O'Hara for the three quarter man, line, leave it, no, leave it. they still managed to make a lot of ground. Leave it. Now Driscoll, Kidney. Then the pass inside goes astray, and away come Castle Troy, Advantage outside their own 22. Great run by Murray, up to the halfway line. No block, but the full-back is up there, Joyce Power kicking it on. Is he going to make the try line? Ball going across the dead ball line. But what a break that was, and what a counter-attack. Set up by Peter Murray, and Prez lost it forward, okay, Peter Murray from inside his 22, brought it up to the halfway line. Not quite blocked afterwards, but the kick on by Cormac Joyce Parr just went that bit too far for him. It remains three points each. Kidney with the restart, goes across the touch line on the full. He'll be a bit disappointed with that after his near try making run a few moments ago. Castle Troy up for the scrum back on the 22. And Peter Murray. What a fine counter attack that was by the scrum half. Coach, touch, pause and Let's go. And they now are bringing Dara Bonfil out of the pack you two, up here. to be you two here. second full back. Let's now words for the props. All right, I want you to square, show, take the hip of the shoulders and get your binds up. If you do what you're going to do, all right, here we go. Up you come now, up you come. Referee That's being very insistent that Crunch. the scrums Crunch. are properly organised. Murray feeding it on, the ball well taken there in the centre, and on it goes as Dermot McCarthy made a lot of ground, and it's a penalty against Prez. Away. Clancy took the ball, it was an awkward one, he took it well, and Dermot McCarthy made a lot of ground up that uh, short side, and the penalty has been awarded. The line is yours. And the line Castle is Troy yours, go for the, the line, is line out. That line. Johnny, I'm going in deep. And throwing will be their Save hooker, Porrick Hogan. Substitute on the Munster under 19. In the line out, the ball not straight from the thrower. And the option goes to Prez. They opt for a scrum. And the referee welcomes back Thomas O'Flynn. He had to spend 10 minutes in the sin bin for, I suppose, what could be deemed almost a professional foul. Touch, pause again. Peter Murray feeds the scrum. Better scrum taken away by Peter O'Mahony. Back foot. Okay, okay. Back into the side, and that's a big kick from O'Flynn. 
taken very well by Colum Gillam. Gillam up to the 22, he could make it here. Looks outside and finds the fullback, and the fullback, Cormac Joyce Barr, is in. Well, this came when Colum Gillam fielded that high kick, swept through several defenders and found Cormac Joyce Carr there beside him and the fullback was in for the try but I'm sure Prez won't be too happy with the amount of tackles there and again the number is confusing me because uh, Dermot McCarthy was the one who was up in support quite similar with the hairstyles to the fullback Cormac Joyce Carr but I'm sure Castle Troy won't argue with whoever got the score, the name of the score, as long as the score was right. And there was no doubt about that score. And Frawley adds the points. Very well taken by Castle Troy. Superb catch by the number 11, Colin Dillon. Setting it up, and it really was a superb try. The comical Flynn restarts. Away, Prez, away, Advantage away, Prez! to Castle Got Troy. Advantage. Back foot, back foot. Ball knocked forward from the kickoff. And there was no advantage to uh, Castle Troy there. And the scrum back then just on the Castle Troy 22. Hold. Hold. Back over. Come on, get steady. Again, the referee very anxious that the players remain steady in the scrum coach touch pause engage let's go Murray's feed leave it up Rez Rez now Castle Troy don't want to concede possession here leave it Rez ball eventually back to the fly half and Donald Byrne finds a good touch Outside the 22. Let's go. Open up now. Open up. Hold. 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 Kelleher throwing for Praz. Trailing now 10 points to three. But they have a chance of impacting on the scoreboard here. Hands away, Troy. Hands away. How do we get out? Just on the Castle Troy 22. Big figure of Brian Cagney. Guys, guys, push him this way. Push him this way. Patrick had done one also there. Very Wait, no, good no and effective front row for no messing, BBC. No, Three kicks and penalties coming. Coach. And even Touch. when there were a man Pause down for 10 minutes, let's go, let's go. I held that scrummage well. Use it. Castle okay. tries scrum half weights. Burn the fly half. This is the fullback. Former Joyce Carr. And his kick brings play to half it. Calmly taken. Cheers, 